Hello and welcome to Friday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the Times crossword on Friday. Sometimes this, today is uh, the hardest day of the week. I don't know if this is by design. Um, anyway, let's see what we've got here. I'll try and talk through the clues uh, as I go. What I'm thinking. Okay. What can you do with mouse, a pest, and very little? Uh, looks like an anagram of mouse, a pest, and very, maybe. Is that enough letters? Not. Oh, yes, it is. So it means little, I think. I can't see what the answer is. Uh, one, who, oh, one who examines letters on parcel turning up. Who examines letters? A vet? One who examines? That might be, or a, is it doc? COD, something on delivery. Hmm, not sure about that. Would that fit with. No, that wouldn't fit with my mouse idea. Let's check this one. Eccentric, deviant, aunt, regularly driven home. Eccentric. Regularly driven, what could that be? R V N or D I E? Okay, well it does look like this might be a tricky puzzle because a lot of the clues here aren't giving me much away. A kiss, what each daughter gives a fella. Well, a fella is an axe man or something, so I can see what each daughter gives. What each daughter gives axe head. It's going to be an anagram of each and D there. I think that's probably right. Um, took heart from one not being the only left winger. A, a co red. If you are a co red, you're presumably not the only left winger. Uh, all I have, I'm deploying to protect conservative statesmen. Okay, so this looks like an anagram of all I have, I'm around C, and it's going to be a statesman. That's probably someone from America. Uh, what is that? Come on. Maybe it's just some a member of a country. Because I can see how that. Machiavelli, is that? I think it is Machiavelli. Statesman Machiavelli. Okay. Uh, biggest possible fine for physicist. Um, Maxwell. Biggest possible is max. If you're fine, you're well. So I think that again, that looks right. Difficult puzzle. This um, combine twenty-three with ten, not eight. Finally, oh no. Uh, what does this mean? Twenty-three. We haven't solved yet. That's, I think we'll come back to that. Effect of drugs after drinks. That's not one way. Uh, a round trip. A trip is an effect of drugs. And a drinks. You buy a round of drinks, you buy several, obviously. Dinosaurs undoing, a volcano finally erupting. So this is an anagram, undoing A and O. Wow, Iguanodon? Iguanodon, is that? I vaguely remember that from when I used to love dinosaurs as a four-year-old. I got is it Iguano dot? Got too many A's in there. Iguano dot. Yeah. Uh, Twelve overs in the dark. New. Oh, new. I want to put something like noon. Noon time or. 
hope I read this. Moon. Ah. Volume 1 of French Dictionary Taped Videoed. Okay, Volume 1 of French De, a dictionary is the OED, Oxford English Dictionary, so that's that's how that works. Shocking lessons from scripture embraced by Law Lord. Shocking lurid. So religious instruction RI in the middle of Lud, the Law Lord. Milad, I think that's what that's referring to. So is this noonday then? Twelve overs in the dark. Non day, it's overs is oh that's that's vicious. So here it was yesterday we saw the puzzle and it used goods and it used times to indicate TT and GG was you know in some in their respective order. Here I looked at overs and thought it was probably hinting at OO by the same logic, but it's not here. I think O is just um, is an abbreviation for the plural overs, which is why so that in the dark being non day tricky urchin, well this is probably imp isn't it, that's returned to very limited diet why? <laughs> urchin, that's returned to very limited diet 1MP, ok, if you have 1MP you have a very limited parliament and diet is a word for parliament so a ruin suit do for, something does for something, it suits them, so I think that's probably right. Get out, you york somebody if you get them out, so one leaving to attend church, if you minister you attend, so York Minster. This is a tricky puzzle. Sailor's waterproof tar, okay, so that's tarpaulin, short for tarpaulin, which is a waterproof coat. Father's missing entertaining article on the contrary. Um, father's misentertaining article. Far from it. Simply, but why? So father's here is fr, fr. So it's two abbreviations for father. You know, whereas this was only one abbreviation for overs, um, and then omit for miss entertaining a as the article. Uh, we hear a few pound this uh, something drum. We hear a few pound this percussion. Uh, no, we need to think about the kind of drum. Appeal very loud. My boy orange. Orange is saffron, I think, here. So appeal is sex appeal, SA. Very loud FF as in musical notation. And boy is Ron there. Welcome brief hand with trailer. Admit. So AD here for a trailer and add. And then a brief mit, M I double T without the, the last T. Whistler, referee. <laughs> The artist, popular, it's often said. Whistler. A refrain is often said. So a ref, the artist, R-A, in, popular. We hear a few pound this. Oh, why can't I get that? Spin doctor functions for notorious locality. Sodom. Spin Doctor MO functions do's. Okay, I think that's correct. Alright, so let's have a look at this eight down. One who'd irresponsibly drive US poet across Eastern Front. One who'd irresponsibly drive. One who'd irresponsibly drive. Road hog. US poet. Whitman. Uh, well, 
Oh, Whitman, that's going to be right down there. Okay, so what's going on? So it's Whitman across E van. Gosh, van is a word for front. Obviously, it's in vanguard. Um, may produce small hesitation. Haw. It's into hum and to haw. And may is a, you know, it's the hawthorn, I think, is the reference here where it comes from. Marks I'd attacked in the main. Marks. Harpo. If you attack in the main, you harpoon. So, marks harpo, eyed, wand, and then attacked in the main. Lovely clue. Very, very clever. Um, eligible bachelor, perhaps eye catch on the rebound. Eligible bachelor, perhaps eye catch on the rebound. Uh, eligible bachelor, perhaps. I can't oh, that's, not that's party, P A R T I. Just because it's a reversal of I I trap, I don't quite understand why. Maybe chart number of actions in second half of tennis game. Good lord. Set two, maybe chart set. Second half of tennis game. <sighs> Don't know. Needle to show about absolute zero. No score. To show something. I'm thinking needle. Needle be some reference to saw here to show about absolute. No, I don't like this. This doesn't feel right. Um, okay, a year ago, passing time in a different part of the Americas. Patagonia. Spelled correctly, it would help. Now, why is it Patagonia? Passing time ago, a year ago, a year ago, passing time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being thick here, but I just want to think this could be tenor drum now. A few pound would be tenor. this Patagonia a year ago passing time a year is per annum so that's PA ago passing time in a different part. In a different, it's an anagram of in a. A go is passing, t for time. Gosh, that is difficult. So it's pa, and then a go after t for time, and then an anagram of in a, and it is Patagonia. Goodness me. Double D cups, girl bound to get picked up. Double D cups, <laughs> girl bound to get picked up. Um, bound, loped perhaps, at the end there, double D, so that could be D cups girl, oh double D could be, yes okay so double D is the two D's on the end, lope is bound rather than the past tense of developed Eve, picked up is developed I think eccentric deviant aunt ah okay so this is an anagram I think of deviant and then probably an an or it could be the at so it's the it's the or the ut sorry it's the regular letters of aunt 
and it'll mean driven home. Uh, should be able to get that. Can't quickly make approach. Make approach. Quickly make run up. And an approach is a run up. So this is something bad, is it? Okay, so we need an anagram DE. What is this? Driven home. Why can't I see that? It's so stupid. I'm so silly. Um, driven home. Sorry guys, that's me being dumb. Can't see it. Uh, what can you do with mouse, point and click, a pest, and very little? Drag and drop, that's a good answer. Um, what you can do with mouse, a pest, and very little. Test must be a drag. Is that right? Hmm. So this could be dock now. Oh, but that would camper van then. Cam is a word for eccentric. Deviant perv. <laughs> Aunt A N. Lovely clue and got me. Okay, it wasn't a monogram. At least I wasn't being silly and not being able to solve it. Um, so what is this? Combine admit with 10. Not eight finally, so it's admix. So it's admix is a word that means combine, um, probably not one you come across every day. Right, needle to show about absolute zero. Needle. Maybe char, maybe char pops up. Uh, of actions in second half of the game. I love pop song as a potential answer. Now, why? Uh, pong is the second half of a tennis game. Ping pong. Okay, so we've got pong around ops being actions, number of actions, operation. Actions, ops. Okay, so this does now look like party. And this needle provoke, presumably, let's just. Have a think about it to show about absolute zero. To show is to prove around absolute zero, zero Kelvin. Oh gosh, brilliant crossword. Let's go for that. Come on, submit it. Sorry, my internet's being slow. Okay, so it was right. That's good. Um, I think that was a reasonably swift solve of that puzzle. I mean, given I'm talking through it as I go, let's just see. Um, uh, let's take a quick look at the statistics here. So I'm going to move the grid down. You can see there's several people here whose times I simply don't believe. Um, and We start to get to real times, I think, at around, I don't know who Eamon Ryan is, but I mean, that time is just about believable. This time is not believable. Um, Pontius Jason James, one of the best solvers of the Times Crossword. Verlaine is a many times Times Crossword Championship finalist. So yeah, so of the real times, that time isn't too bad, especially given I'm talking it through. Um, Let's go back up and just take a look at some of the clues that we might have glossed over a little bit. Oh, it's not letting me do that now. How do I go back? Okay, so there's a puzzle back up again. 
what did we want to just talk about? Um, party, let me just double check the meaning on that. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's got a few meanings, but basically it's uh, a group of people, a decision, or a marriageable person considered as a match or a catch. So I didn't know that before, but that, that would have helped me to write that one in a bit more quickly. And the other one was 16 down. I just didn't quite understand this. We hear a few pound this percussion instrument. I think I think what this is saying is that if someone was selling this drum, they might say it was you know, a tenor drum, as in T E N N E R, for this drum. We hear a few pounds this for uh, for this. Not quite sure. It's a slightly stretched, I think, that clue. Um, you know, in the end, really, I only got it because I got T N and R here, and tenor drum was the only thing that made sense. But um, in general, this was a fantastic puzzle. Absolutely, you know, exceptional uh, complexity in the wordplay, and definitely um, proves the theory, I guess, that Friday's puzzles in the Times are some of the most difficult. And anyway, I hope this has been helpful, and see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic. Bang, bang, that's well